You a dirty rat? Anyway, um... Trains. <laughs> got trains and machine guns going off here. Anyway, let me tell you a little more about Ronald Reagan. Um, the first time I was invited to the White House, this is a true story, I was invited for a luncheon at the White House. Why I got an invite, I do not know, because it was for the president of Sri Lanka, who was not a friend of mine. I didn't know a Sri Lanka from a Studebaker. And, um, but anyway, I was invited to the White House, and I was thrilled to be invited. And I was really looking forward to meeting Ronald Reagan. Well, I was supposed to be at the White House at 11 o'clock for a 12.30 luncheon, and I was late. I got into a car accident, and I, I didn't get to the White House until 10 after 12. I was beside myself. And I can remember I was running down the corridor of the White House to the Lincoln Room, where this luncheon was going to be held. And as I approached the Lincoln Room, I saw President Reagan out in front of the room talking to reporters. And this was during the crisis in Grenada when Grenada was happening, and, and you know, the press were firing questions at him, and he was looking at his watch, and he wanted to get in and have a sandwich. He was starving, and he didn't want to be there, and he was looking at his watch, and he was trying to answer these questions. He sees me running down the corridor, <laughs> and he says, Rich, thank God you're here. You know, you do me better than I do. So you take over this press conference. <laughs> and I went, what? He said, you do me better than I do. You finish this press conference. I'm, I'm going for a sandwich. And then he split. He split, leaving me with the press to do Reagan. And he's hiding around the door, watching and seeing what I'm going to do, right? And the press are talking to me like they're talking to Ronald Reagan. They're still firing questions at me, who is now Ronald Reagan. And I'm standing there going, uh, well, yes, uh, yes, Any, anybody have any questions? Yes, yes. That's yes. right, I'd, I'd love to hear some. What, what's that? What? Does anybody have any questions? Any questions from anybody? Sure. Yes, sure. yes. You in the front, yes. Uh, Mr. President, Gord Atkinson from the Denver Sandwich. Yes, Mr. Atkinson. Uh, what do you think of Grenada? I think it's the finest song that Buddy Greco's ever recorded. <laughs> it's a great song. Yes, you with the rash. Over here, yes. Mr. Yes. President, Janet yes. Jay from Jackson 5. Yes. Why don't you drill for oil in Alaska? There's a lot of it up there. Well, that's because the dipsticks are in Washington. <laughs> yes, you, you with the goat over here. Yes, along with the goat. Uh, Mr. President, Bill Luxton from the Liberty Bell. Yeah, yes, Mr. Luxton. Uh, with all the unrest in the Middle East, uh, do you think we should send jets to Israel? No. What the hell would they do with a bunch of football players? <laughs> no, I think the Jets should stay in New York and just play football. That's what, that's what they're good at. I think they, they'd be a total loss over there in Israel. Hey, Dumb question. Yes. The fellow with the goat. Yes. Yes. Shelly Poppin, Miss, from the Winchester 73. Yes, Shelly. Mr. President, is the war on poverty over? Yes, and the poor lost. <laughs> those, those poor suckers never had a chance. They should, they should have quit when they were ahead. Yes, you, you down there. Bob Bentley of the Rockford Files. Yes, Mr. Bentley, yes. Uh, Mr. President, <laughs> at your age, uh, do you still have sex? Yes, almost every day. 
almost Monday, almost Tuesday, almost Wednesday, almost Thursday, almost Friday, and almost Saturday. Almost every day. Almost. Yes. That funny looking fellow over there. Yes. Sir Clifford Crap of the Dover Sur. Yes, Mr. Crap. <laughs> what are you going to do for the sick, the weak, and the infirm? See to it that congressmen serve only one term. President Reagan! President Reagan! President Reagan! President Reagan. Yes. One more question. Yes. It's you. President Reagan, Rhea Little here from the Springfield Rifle. When do you think a person is declared legally dead? When the heart stops beating or the brain stops functioning? No, I would say when the heart stops beating. Good Lord, if we determine it by the brain stops functioning, <laughs> we'd wipe out half the Senate. <laughs> and a few people in Fort Lauderdale would go along with them. Yes, one more question. Yes, here from the Cheyenne Social Club. Yes. Uh, sir, do you think the government will ever legalize marijuana? Well, I'm not sure about that, but I... I think they're going to discuss it next week at a joint session. <laughs> one more. One more. Yes. You with the rash over here. Yes. President Reagan, sir, this is Billy Joe McAllister from yes. the Tallahassee Bridge. Do you have any final words of wisdom? Final words of wisdom? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, never raise a hand to your children because remember they're the ones that pick out your nursing home <laughs> Thank you.